Welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to solve some pandas interview questions. First, let's create our dataset. Our dataset will have four columns, airline, destination, flight duration, and seats available. Let's create some data to work with. So I'm going to import the libraries we are going to use in this video. I will import the pandas and I will import the random for the data creation, but I'm going to just make a copy paste on the data creation side like, like this because it's going to take too much time if I write them by hand and after that I'm going to say data frame is going to be equal to the PD data frame and I will give the data. So when I call the data frame you will see that we will have a nice data frame to work with. Here I have imported the pandas library and created a data frame DF that contains data for our airline operations. The data set has information like the name of the airline, the destination they fly to, the duration of the flight and the number of seats available. Before we proceed to the questions, let's add 45 random entries to our data frame to make it a bit more interesting. I wrote a function before this video, here it is. So if you change this number to 50, it's going to add 50 rows. It's for adding more data, random data, like for the airline destination, flight duration and seats available. We are adding random entries and we are adding random choices from this lists. And I'm just going to run this function and I'm going to use that for adding 45 more data. You can just change this to 50 or 100, any, any value you want. And after that, I'm going to say data frame is going to be a queue to the add random entries function I created and I will say data frame. So when I call the data frame now, we are going to see that we have 50 entries. Great. So let's start with the first question, but you can just stop the video in here and write this function. If you want to add 45 more data, if you don't want, you can just work with five. That's also fine, but you can just do that for getting a more complex data set. And we can start with the first question. Find all the flights going to New York City. You can stop the video and try to solve it by yourself or you can just watch it and see how I solve the questions. So we are going to find the flights going to the New York. So we will say let's assign to variable our answers like flights to New York City and we will say data frame and we are going to filter it like data frame destination equals to New York City. And let's call this variable after that. The question asks us to find all the flights that are going to a specific destination. And in pandas, you can use Boolean indexing to filter out the rows that meet certain conditions. Great, that was our solution. Question two, calculate the average flight duration for each airline. So let's set to this like average duration and after that I'm going to say data frame group by and I will say a line and I'm going to say flight duration and we are going to calculate the average so I will use the mean in here and I'm just going to call the average duration like this. So here it is. The first after group by is going to be the thing that you are going to be grouping by and the other one is going to be the thing that you are going to get the value of and it, it returns a panda series and you can just manipulate this like I'm just going to call this in here and let's say we are going to sort it by ascending order in ascending order let's say so when I run this you are going to see that the order is going to change and if I want to get this top two, I can just say head two and you can just manipulate this answer in the group wise. Great. Question three, find the airline with the most seats available. So what are we going to do is we are going to say most seats and I'm just going to do a group by in here and we are going to group by airline again. And after that, I'm going to say seats available. And after that, I will use sum. Then I'm going to say index maximum. So when I run this and get the most seats, we are going to see the Alaska in here. Question four, filter flights longer than average duration. So we are going to filter the average duration. 
and we will set the average duration at the first place. So let's say average duration and we will say data frame flight duration dot mean and after that let's set something like long flights and we will say data frame data frame flight duration and it's going to be the greater than the average duration so when I run this one and we call long flights we are going to see that they are filtered so by the way let's also check the average duration we, value we have it's 5.26 great okay here it is this is our solution for this question firstly we calculated the average flight duration using the mean function then we filter out the roles where the flight duration is greater than the average duration okay question 5 find number of flights to each destination so we are going to say flights per destination and it's going to be data frame destination dot value counts and after that we can just call flights per destination and there is an error let me quickly check I made a typo destination I'm missing this in here and our answer is here right now by the way it returns a pandas series so you can just use aggregation functions or sort values in ascending order and etc you can all do the all manipulation things that you can do with pandas series great question six find the airline with the shortest average flight so what we are going to do is we will say shortest flight duration and i'm going to say data frame group by i'm going to group by airline and after that i will say flight duration dot mean and I after that I'm going to use index minimum and I'm just going to run this then I'm going to call shortest flight duration and here it is question 7 replace flight durations greater than 6 with long else short so what we are going to do is we will say let's create a new column not change the origin of one I'm going to say data frame and I will use flight length and after that I'm going to say data frame flight duration dot apply lambda x and we will say long if x is greater than 6 else short so when I call the data frame again you will see the flight length in here short and long applied to our data frame based on the sixth value great so we have this column right now and we used apply function along with the lambda function that checks each entry in the flight duration and if it's greater than six then it sets to long else short great so question eight calculate the total number of seats available for each destination so for that we will say total seats by destination and we will say data frame dot group by and we will say destination after that we will say seats available dot sum and we can just call this from here and here it is so for finding the maximum in here we can just do index maximum if you want but the question was not that so great question 9 remove roles where seats available are less than 20 so we will say let's create a new data frame do not change the origin of one we will say data frame removed and I'm going to say data frame data frame seats available greater than or accused to 20 so it's automatically filtered the lower ones and when I call the data frame removed here is our result great question 10 our last question for this video find the most common destination for each airline so we will say most common destination and we will say data frame group by airline and we are going to say destination and after that we will say apply lambda x x dot mode and we will use iloc after that 
and we will say zero in here. And after that, we can just call most common destination like this. Great, our answer is in here. So this question was a little bit complex. It requires us to find the most common destination for each airline. We can use the group by function on the airline column and then apply a lambda function to find the mode of the destination for each group. Mode is the most repeating value. So what we do is mode returned a series in here and after that we used iloc to extract the first most common destination. And that was all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm creating content about data science and programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more. I also have a full playlist of interview exercises. You can just check my channel to reach to that playlist. There's pandas, SQL and Python interview questions. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.